What's up Royals? I'm Kai. Hope you're doing well and I am back. I'm back on YouTube. Guys, I know I've been away for a couple months. Nothing bad has happened here. It's just that I'm still breeding and keeping ball pythons but at a larger scale. So of course that's taken some time away from my schedule. Time away from doing YouTube videos like this. But I've been doing all of that work for moments like this. For days like this. And what I mean by that is we have a egg cutting to do today and this is the first or i should say second of the 2023 season i'll get you caught up on the first clutch in a later video but yeah this is an exciting clutch and this is a banger clutch because we're gonna cut a clutch of desert ghosts and i know there's been a lot of talk about desert ghosts you know desert ghosts in the beginning was not quite understood it was actually confused with another gene called the desert and then it skyrocketed to being one of the most uh, valued or sought after genes in this hobby. And of course, recently with the news from RGI about the Desert Ghost gene, well, actually they found out that it's not just one gene, but a combination of genes that causes the animal to either appear visual or het. And we can really use that knowledge to our advantage. We can look at it as a positive. We can use that information to better our pairings so that we can yield better results and improve the odds, improve possibilities of, of creating visual desert ghosts as opposed to a bunch of hets, which is all, we're, all what we're after, right? So this is a DG clutch. Can't wait to show you guys, but before I get there, I just want to let you guys know this channel is now sponsored by Redline Shipping. Use Redline Shipping for all your shipping needs. I've been using them for quite some time now, and I'll tell you there is a promo code called Robin60. Robin60. Use that in the promo section when you are checking out your, your package, your label, and that'll get you a discount of 60% and you get to use that twice. So if you haven't used it yet, you can use it twice. All right, so if you use other 60% uh, promo codes, you're done, you can't keep using them. But uh, I am working with Elliot and Robin. Um, hopefully we can create another promo code just for this channel, for you guys, for my loyal viewers and subscribers and followers. I love you guys. So I wanna to try to do something nice for you guys, okay? Well, I don't wanna hold this up any longer. I'm excited. Let's cut some eggs. I'm pretty excited to start the hatching season again. So this is 2023, and this is the second clutch, uh, the first one being just a single egg. So I guess this is a normal size clutch for 2023. And as you can see, we got three that pipped, these three. Um, I did see the head of this one. It was exceptionally, exceptionally light. Maybe that's a DG. That one definitely looks like a DG. What I'm hoping for in this clutch is to produce super stripe desert ghosts uh, the sire to this clutch is a i believe pastel enchi orange dream yellow belly desert ghost and the mom of this clutch is a pastel specter i'm hoping she's specter if she's uh if we get any white snakes in here we'll know that she's a yellow belly as well but I'm hoping she's a pastel specter and she is definitely het for desert ghosts because I produced her myself. Actually, both the parents were produced by me. And you can see right where he's flicking his tongue out, there is a little bump. That is the egg tooth. That is what they use to slice their way out of the eggs. And sometimes I've never, never experienced it, but I've heard that sometimes that egg tooth may not have formed or have fallen off, which would cause the baby not to be able to come out and ultimately suffocate. So that's one of the reasons why we cut, or at least our excuse for cutting. But really, I'm cutting because I'm super impatient and curious as to what I have. And that, to me, looks like a desert ghost. Um, what else could it be? It doesn't appear to be super stripe. We don't see those defined stripes on the dorsal. It's got that nice dot on the head. I 
think that is Orange Dream. It's gonna be hard to tell. We'll definitely have to wait for this little guy or girl to come out. It is coming out. <laughs> Maybe it'll be out sooner than we think. All right, so we're gonna continue on cutting with the ones that have already sliced their way out. And that's called a pip. Yeah, this one is definitely light as well. Really, really light. That's got a dot on his head as well. You can see it right there. And don't worry about the blood. That's just some veins that were used during their development, during the incubation. They're not very useful at this point. There's no nerve endings. But yeah, that is definitely a light one. I don't see the typical super stripe along the dorsal, the stripe along the dorsal. So I don't think that is a super stripe either. But at least we haven't hit any white snakes. So there's still hope. That's a nice dorsal right there, but I don't see it connected. So I'm not quite sure what this is, but this has a much lighter head than the previous one. And we do have pastel on both sides. So this could, if that's the pastel, this would be the super pastel. If that's not pastel, this would be the pastel. So we'll, we'll use process of an elimination later once we have all the eggs out to figure out who's, what's what. And that is a tail. So this little one decided to stick its tail out instead of its nose. All right, so this is egg number three. This is a pretty good sized clutch. Oh, another one popping out. Okay, um, they're all very light and clean. It could be due to the fact that there's a lot of genes at play here. This doesn't, I mean, it's, it's very bright. It could be a DG, but it could also be the fact that there's so many genes stacked on each other, it just looks very light. The good thing about DG is that we now have a shed test for it. It's not 100%, I think it's above 80 though. So you can always send the sheds in to get tested and they'll at least be able to tell you if it's not a DG, if it's het DG, or if it's a visual DG. And the positive results are 80 plus percent accurate. All right, egg number four, that's a super stripe, but is it a DG super stripe? I don't think so. This does look like a super stripe, right? I mean, I don't know. To be honest, I was expecting a solid dorsal. It's really hard to tell. Once they've had a few sheds, I mean, we, we know that these have to be HET DG by default, at the minimum HET DG by default because the dad is a visual. But um, if it's not het, then it's a visual. And we can tell the hets from visuals after they've shed a few times. Because then the, uh, what I call speckling, this peppering, this dirtiness starts to appear along the dorsal if it's not a visual DG. Because the visual ones don't get that. That's a DG. That is a DG, that's nice. Doesn't have that many genes, which allows me to call it, call it out that it is a DG. When it has a lot of genes, it makes it tougher just because of how, how the genes are stacked and how clean it makes a snake look. It almost looks as if it's a DG when there's many, many genes stacked on each other. So far, they're either, ooh, that looks like a super stripe. You see that? Solid dorsal. Now, I hope this is a visual DG, but again, it's got that purplish color in it. Could be a bunch of genes stacked on each other. But I'm hoping that's a visual. 
DG Super Stripe with a few jeans as well. Wow, that is amazing looking. I love the purple. That's so cool. That is super, super cool. Super Stripe. All right, we got two eggs left. Come on, let's make them count. This this little hatchling in here is pushing back on me. Making it hard for me to get my scissors in there, but we'll find a way. We found a way. That's another DG. That is another DG looking animal. Come on, stick your head out. Let me see. Uh, it doesn't want to come out all the way. But that looks like another DG, very clean. Pastel DG. We, I think, I think most of these have pastel in it. I mean, it makes sense because because of the pairing. The dad has pastel. The mom has pastel. So, out of this clutch, uh, statistically speaking, 75% should have at least one dose of pastel. So actually, you know what? This one doesn't look like it has pastel. This one might not have pastel. This one looks, yeah, I know it looks very clean. I think I've seen this before. This looks like a pastel. Even though it's super clean, I think after the first shed, we'll, we'll be able to clearly see that it's not a DG. I think this is just a pastel. I don't think it has yellow belly in it either. No specter. Um, I think this is just a pastel, yeah. So, <laughs> the last egg was the, uh, I guess, the, the least impressive, but definitely we got a couple of really good ones. That's a DG. This one I'm hoping could be a Super Stripe. This one I believe is a Super Stripe. At least fingers crossed for that one. Uh, that's a Super Stripe. That I believe is a Super Stripe. Just don't know if that's a DG or not. That's a DG, that I think is a DG, and this last one over here in the corner, like I said, probably just a pastel. All right, so I'm gonna wait for these to crawl out and I'll give you guys an update. So now it's time for an update. This one is the last egg that I cut and I have suspected that this is not a DG. I still think that. However, looking at the head is probably some type of uh, super pastel, maybe has something else in it. So it's super pastel plus something. I'm not 100% sure on what that other thing is or if that other thing is even in here, but I feel pretty confident that this is a super pastel het DG. All right, next up we have another one that I believe to be a het DG. And the reason I believe it's a het and not a visual is there's obviously signs for pastel on this animal just by the head blushing but I think if it was a visual DG that head would be much much more white a little bit bigger what I do think this is is a pastel enchi yellow belly so you can see the orange flames come up that's the yellow belly you can see the wide eye bands that's the enchi the olive green eyes that's the enchi and then of course that blushing on the head again that is pastel. So all these three things combined together, I think that's what this animal, that's what would make this animal look the way it is. And I don't see that much of a DG influence, although it is very clean, but that just could be the gene stacking. And we'll have to wait for all of these to shed out to take a second look at them. But these are my guesses so far. All right, so next up is an actual DG. And how do I know that? Well, it's super clean, super beautiful and bright as if it was a pastel out of the egg. But looking at the head, we know that it doesn't have a pastel. The head tells me that this is an orange dream. So does the pattern and the color. So you can see the alien heads, the banding, the nice um, bars on the side. And then of course the oranges that we can see a hint of along with the white outline. You guys see the white outline? So that is indicative of the orange dream. So I think this is a orange dream desert ghost. So next up, we got something a little bit more flashy. Again, we don't have that white blushed out head, 
it's very clean and it's light but it doesn't have that uh, blushed out look like it's feathered it's very crisp so I believe that this is an orange dream Enchi desert ghost you can just see how clean it is how rich and deep those blacks are and how bright the yellows are much brighter than the last one and it still has that outline still has that white outline so definitely a orange dream desert ghost and since it's brighter than the last one the only other gene that makes sense in here would be Enchi and looking at the eye bands like how thick it is I think it is Enchi so Enchi orange dream desert ghost next up I think this is what I was shooting for it is a super stripe desert ghost now is there anything else going on in here maybe there's Enchi I'm not 100% sure on that I do have to maybe do a little bit more research like get some comparison pictures but that's definitely a stripe dorsal so this is a super stripe and based on how clean it is I would guess that this is a desert ghost but since I've never hatched a super stripe here I'm gonna need a little bit more time wait for this one to shed out a few more and then make a call based on that a little bit later but for now I'm pretty happy with this and actually I'm really happy with this clutch you'll see why in just a minute all right we're gonna look at two of them at a time just because they look very very similar you see one of them has a dot on its head the other one it doesn't but that outline on the head looks almost exactly the same this one is a little bit darker and you can see just the color of on their body that this one is a little bit more defined the darks are a little bit darker whereas this one is much more paler in comparison I don't know what to make of these just yet I do feel like they are DG's based on the color and the head um, but I do think that they have pastel in it as well so it's going to make that a little bit harder to determine and let's see yeah I mean they I think they are super stripes they look like they have that super stripe pattern not only do they have that dorsal but the alien heads are kind of blurry just like the last one that I showed you that is uh, what I thought to be a DG super stripe and they have very similar patterns here so we got pretty lucky with the super stripes I think the odds are supposed to be one in four and as of right now I've just shown you three of them and right here is what I believe to be the fourth super stripe out of the clutch based on how clean and white that head is I think this has to be a super pastel which makes sense because we have pastel on both sides and our odds of hitting a pastel is one in four so that's a super stripe that's a pastel really hard to see anything else in here um, yeah I've, I've never really worked too much with super stripes the only one that I have is uh, the original lesser pastel super stripe but working in the Enchi and the Orange Dream and you know more doses of pastel and the Desert Ghost uh, I'm not in my comfort zone here so I can't say for sure all of these are just guesses and so far I think it's safe safer to say that this is just a super pastel super stripe time will tell if this has Enchi or Orange Dream that was an amazing clutch at the start of the season. And if my guesses hold true, then that means we have two head desert ghosts and six visual desert ghosts, which is pretty amazing. And I think we're gonna see better odds in our desert ghost clutches moving forward, just because we're getting more informed about how the desert ghost gene or genes work. And we can really use that to our advantage to help with the pairings so that we can increase our odds and increase those possibilities of hitting desert ghosts. That about wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and you want to be informed of future uploads, make sure you're subscribed and ring that notification bell. As always, thank you guys for watching. Please share. Remember, Royals for life. Peace out.